Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Today, we're diving into the season of Maybon, also known as the autumnal equinox. It's the second harvest festival of the year, celebrated in late September. I'm here to guide you through five budget-friendly ways to celebrate this beautiful season that can be simple and meaningful. Let's do some magical crafting. As the days grow shorter and the air turns crisp, the arrival of Maybon, the autumnal equinox, beckons us to celebrate the changing seasons. No matter what the weather looks like in your area, you can celebrate the spirit of this season. Also known as the second harvest, it's a time to express gratitude for a bountiful harvest and prepare for the coming winter. My first suggestion is to plan periods of rest and downtime. With the arrival of Maybon, a clear signal emerges, indicating the transition into a much needed period of rest on the wheel of the year. Notably, the daylight begins to wane, making for longer nights. Seeds gently descend to the earth, entering a state of dormancy as everything readies itself to rest. Get out your calendar and plan periods of rest and downtime for the remainder of the year. Consider all of your end of the year holiday obligations. Determine when you're likely to feel stressed out or overwhelmed. Plan time off around these likely stressors. A second activity I like to do for myself and recommend for everyone to try is to contemplate the harvest theme and consider what you are harvesting in this season, either literally or metaphorically. Historically, the autumnal equinox is a time to harvest crops and gather provisions to sustain ourselves through the winter. This season, taken in a literal sense, is when you might gather produce from the garden and spend time canning or cutting wood to prepare for the colder months. Metaphorically, it offers lessons we can apply to our modern lives as well. Contemplate what new aspirations and goals you might want to plant in the spring, and what you're harvesting now from your past hard work. You know I love a good journaling prompt, and so my third suggestion to make the season meaningful relates to that practice. Journaling prompts can be a wonderful way to connect with the energy of Maybon and the autumnal equinox, encouraging introspection and self-discovery during this transitional time of year. Maybon is a time to look back and plan for the year ahead. Journal about your past year victories and defeats. Release any baggage you've been carrying. Think about long-term plans and set goals for the next year. Here are 10 journaling prompts to inspire you to reflect. Harvest Reflection What have you accomplished or harvested in your life over the past year? Consider personal growth, achievements, or experiences that you're grateful for. Balance in Life how can you find and maintain balance in your life? Much like the balance between day and night during the equinox. What areas of your life feel out of balance and what steps can you take to restore the equilibrium? Autumn Inspirations Take a moment to describe the sights, sounds, and scents of autumn that inspire you the most. How do these elements make you feel? And how can you incorporate more of them into your daily life? Letting go. Autumn is a season of shedding, much like trees losing their leaves. What thoughts, habits, or emotions would you like to release as you move into this new season? Write about what you're ready to let go of and why. Gratitude. Reflect on the things you're grateful for as you approach Maybon. What are the blessings in your life right now? 
consider both the obvious and the subtle joys. Seasonal Goals What intention do you have for the autumn season ahead? These can be personal, professional, or related to your well-being. Write down your goals and why they're important to you. Autumn Traditions What are your favorite traditions or rituals for celebrating autumn and Maybon? How do these traditions connect you to the season and its energy? The Wisdom of Change Change is a constant theme in autumn. Write about a significant change or transition in your life, past or present, and the wisdom you've gained from it. Savoring the Season Share your favorite autumnal experiences or activities. It could be a cozy evening by the fire, a pumpkin patch visit, or a nature walk. How do these activities make you feel more connected to the season? Offerings In some traditions, offerings are made during Maybon to show gratitude and give back to the earth. What can you offer as a symbol of your gratitude and commitment to the environment or your community? One of the most beautiful aspects of Maybon is the celebration of abundance. A fourth inexpensive option to celebrate the season is to create an altar of abundance. Keep the cost down by using items you already have around the house or that you find in nature. You don't need to break the bank to create a meaningful altar that embodies this theme. The most important part of creating an altar for me is the quiet and intentional time that I set aside to be mindful of the seasonal themes that are important to me as I create the space and spend time there. As I create my altar, I think about what I've accomplished and grown this year and how I will enjoy the harvest of my hard work. You may have other priorities or significant themes for the season that you'd like to contemplate. This will be different for everyone. Choose a small table or a quiet corner where you can set up your altar. Use a simple piece of cloth or a scarf in earthy tones as a base. Place symbols of the harvest season on the altar, such as colorful leaves, dried flowers, or small pumpkins, gourds, or even a basket of apples. You may wish to add candles in warm autumn colors like orange, yellow, or red. If you prefer a more budget-friendly option, consider using tea light candles that you can buy inexpensively. I like to burn incense and use sound to cleanse and protect the space, and often spend time at my altar with a seasonal music playlist to set the mood for journaling. If you like to journal, this space can be where you can jot down things you're grateful for or your intentions for the coming season. This altar and sacred space can serve as a focal point for your Maybon celebrations, a daily reminder of gratitude and a space for reflection throughout the season. Maybon is a time to indulge in the fruits of the harvest and you can do so without overspending. My fifth suggestion is to visit your local farmer's market or grocery store to find seasonal produce at reasonable prices. Apples, pears, squash, and root vegetables are typically harvested during this time, and because they're abundant, they're less expensive. One of my favorite ways to save money on a holiday meal that still feeds several people without breaking the bank is to make a simple, hearty soup or stew using ingredients that are in season. Baking is another wonderful way to celebrate the food of Maybon on a budget. Apple crisps, pumpkin muffins, or a basic loaf of bread are all delicious options. Baking allows you to infuse your kitchen with delightful scents of autumn, 
while also providing you with homemade treats that can last for days and can often be made for much less than the store-bought equivalent. If you're a kitchen witch, you can infuse your baking with the intention of gratitude, abundance, and community to add magic. Sharing food with loved ones is a beautiful way to celebrate Maybon. You may wish to invite friends or family to join you for a potluck style gathering. This way everyone can contribute a dish, making it an affordable and communal celebration. Another more expensive but wonderful way to celebrate the season with food, if you have the means, is to participate in a food drive to help others in need during the season of plenty. My fifth suggestion is another low cost activity for the season, and that is to take a nature walk and pair it with a gratitude ritual. Nature plays a significant role in Maybon celebrations and connecting with the natural world doesn't require any expense. Take a leisurely walk in a nearby park, forest, or even your own neighborhood or backyard. Enjoy the changing leaves if they're turning with the seasons in your area. Feel the coolness of the autumn breeze and notice the colors of the season. As you walk, create a simple gratitude ritual. Pause at different points along your journey to express your thanks for the abundance in your life. You can speak your gratitude aloud or silently, whichever feels more comfortable. Consider thanking the earth for its bountiful harvest and express your appreciation for the people and experiences that enrich your life. Gather a few fallen leaves, acorns, or other natural treasures you encounter along your walk. When you return home, place them on your altar as a symbol of the gifts of the season. This simple ritual connects you to the earth and cultivates a sense of appreciation for the world around you. Celebrating Maybon doesn't need to be extravagant or expensive. Take some time to plan rest into your schedule, to reflect on and journal about the abundance in your life, by creating a modest altar of abundance, enjoying seasonal foods, and connecting with nature through a gratitude ritual, you can embrace the spirit of the autumnal equinox without draining your wallet. Maybon reminds us to appreciate the simple joys of life and the natural world, and these budget-friendly celebrations capture that essence perfectly. <music>